I'm Kate Quickle, host of Broad and High on WOSU-TV. I'm here with Columbus musician and educator Nick D'Andrea to talk about making and teaching music in the age of COVID. Hey, Nick, thanks for joining me. Hey, thank you so much for having me. This great is great. I, I love this chance to kind of connect in this virtual space. It's kind of fun. It is. It's refreshing. Yeah. So you're the executive director of We Amplify Voices. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, that's a program that pairs middle school students with local professional musicians. Mm -hmm. How has your teaching workshop changed? How has your style changed with uh, schools being out? What has that transition been like? Oh, dramatically. Um, it's really funny. I mean, not funny, I guess, ironic. The day that schools were canceled was Friday the 13th. Oh had, man, that's dark. It was dark. Well, we had three studio sessions booked that day to finish these recording workshops and uh, you know, all of them were canceled and then uh, you know, everything went from there. And it was funny. I remember I was having a moment like, should we schedule three studio sessions on the same day on Friday the 13th? Like, <laughs> Is that what's the, best the worst idea? that could happen? Yeah. <laughs> so Fate uh, was like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we tried to adapt pretty quickly to be able to finish the workshops through Zoom. Um, the thing that kind of made it take a while was getting the school's permission and Everyone was kind of in a tailspin for you know a few weeks following uh, going to, to online schooling, um, but we were really pleasantly surprised with how the program was able to adapt to um, an online setting. We found that you know our workshop really thrives on just that um, kind of circle conversation, you know, mm -hmm. between the kids, them sharing their their feelings and ideas and experiences with each other. And that can really still take place over a Zoom call in the same sure. sort of way that it can over, um, you know, in person. But um, the thing that we were really worried about missing out on was the studio experience where they actually get to be in a studio with musicians and watch them work. Um, but we were able to adapt it to an online setting and it actually ended up being cool in some different ways where the professional producers are able to like screen share their recording software with the kids. So they're able to like kind of get a deeper dive than they would just in the studio. And actually uh, we also make music videos with the kids. So Fun. we adapted that too, which, you know, has required us using a lot more stock footage uh, mm -hmm. than we would before. But the kids are again, like getting to see the back end of the software and sort of like ask questions and um, get kind of a deeper dive. Um, than they would, you know, if we were in the classroom. So yeah, for there's sure. been some silver linings there, but you know, of course we'd prefer to be in person, but um, we've been pleasantly surprised. Like we were able to finish um, like 80% of the workshops that we had in progress during the school year. So um, schools That's were impressive. really great. Yeah, and Co Columbus Public is where most of our workshops are. And um, the district was awesome about just like, you know, letting us finish out those workshops. And Yeah, that's great. Um, so that's helped a lot. Did you learn anything about yourself as an educator or about how resilient the kids were, you know, in this sort of big shift in the way you had to interact with them? I think it gave me more faith in the, in the core of what we're doing and that it, that it's, you know, has maybe more value now than it did before, just because, you know, kids are isolated from each other and, you know, the, at, at its, uh, bedrock our program is about kids communicating to each other and, and kind of sharing uh, you know sometimes things that are difficult to talk about which I yeah. think everyone's experiencing those kinds of things right now but the end product is turning that into something positive so um, I think it's it's made me appreciate more um, what we're doing and you know feel they feel its value and you mm -hmm. know make made us want to push push harder to make sure that we're making that opportunity available to more kids that's great. I know. I feel like silver lining is the only real way to put it, but there are so many bright spots and it sounds like that is one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And we're trying to educate ourselves more too over the summer to like start adopt adopting some like mindfulness practices and some things that we think could be valuable to the kids as kind of, you know, to be embedded into the workshops that we haven't necessarily been doing before, but you know, I think everyone's kind of getting inflicted with their own trauma during this time. So like, Absolutely. If, you know, we have a space with the kids where we're um, kind of coming in as like the fun uncle to like talk about music <laughs> and take stuff with Pop them. in and pop but, out. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we can also, you know, give some tools that can be valuable for sort of, you know, 
healing trauma and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's got to be a much needed outlet for them. That's that's great that you're that you yeah. were able to keep it going throughout this time. So you're a musician in your own right. You know, you've been on Broad and High. You're you're performing all the time. How are you staying creative right now? And how has your performance style changed? It's been awesome how you know venues and arts organizations adapted so quickly and just realized you know how important it was for musicians to still be able to share their music with the community and and for the community to feel uh you know to get that entertainment and um the thing for me i've been doing a lot of recording over the quarantine and it's been kind of awesome because so many of my musician friends you know would normally be super busy with gigs right now but they're at home and they have recording equipment so uh, it's actually been very productive for you know on a personal recording viewpoint because you know they've just they've got the time on their hands and it's kind of something to take all of our minds off of what's been going on how does that process work as a musician like how do you collaborate during this time where you once would all sit in a room and maybe jam a little bit how do you keep that back and forth alive yeah a lot of a lot of phone calls but <laughs> um we're still pretty old-fashioned but um, you know, I'll send like a, a demo recording and then, you know, the drummer will record his drums and then we'll send it to the bass player and the bass player will record and then, you know, I'll put some more stuff down and resend it, you know, so it's just a lot of passing things back and forth and um, you kind of have more time to reflect than if you're like in a studio and you're, the clock's running and you're like, yeah, you, done. you know, it's like, it can take a couple of days to, you know, think about marinate a little bit. Sound. Yeah. And yeah. I, think, I think that's been, you know made it better than it than it would have been normally so that's kind of awesome yeah. um i loved your you performed in kappa's apart together series and that yes. was so fun to get that glimpse like you in your home studio what was that yeah. like oh man it was um awesome once it was over but it was like very you know uh just i was telling jackie as well it's just like performing into a camera screen is uh very disorienting kind of when you're used to getting that feedback but um, it's also in some ways kind of, you know, being a musician who's played like so many like noisy bars, it's like really refreshing to just be like, it's completely silent. <laughs> Quiet. Just me and my you know, thoughts just, and my music. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but honestly, I've really come to love like doing those kinds of um, streaming recordings. Uh, gives you the space to tell the story a little bit more yeah. and um, kind of feel like you can take your time with it. And I think it's more common than people would think, but like, you know, I have social anxiety and stuff like that. And that kicks in when you're performing. So sure. kind of refreshing to just do a live streaming where you're just in the comfort of your own yeah. home and in your happy place, you know? Yeah. I feel like just through this interview series, talking one-on-one -on -one to musicians, I, that seems like a common thread that, that people that we as the audience might think, oh my gosh, he's super outgoing. Look at him up there are actually really introverted and maybe pretty reserved. And I think that's surprising for people. Yeah, totally. I know that's the half of the job is hiding that, right? So, right. That's <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. It seems oh, like you're you. loving it. That's awesome. <laughs> Getting back to your work with students a little bit. I know that We Amplify Voices has participated in Arts Fest in the past and it's been part of the hands-on activities. Yeah. How important do you think those opportunities are to young people right now? Oh, more important than ever. Um, I think having access to, you know, creative outlets is just, you know, I know it's, it's changed my life and, you know, being a part of this program has just really made me believe so strongly that everyone should write songs and everyone should have, you know, like, cause it's yeah. really like just journaling, you know, you're really sure. just getting to know yourself mm -hmm. and it's a lifelong process. Um, so I think that, you know, the more opportunities that we can get to kids over the summer, um, you know, it's just been so sad to watch how, you know, programs over the summer have had to scale back what they're doing or go online. And, but I think just, uh, you know, not, not being afraid to try and make it work online. You know, if it, if it had value as an in-person thing, it can, there can be a way that it can translate meaningfully for kids, you know? And so I think, I think my, my message there would just be like, try and make it work and see what happens. You know, worst case scenario, it's not as great as it would be in person, but. Sure, but something's know, better than nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, like, I'm just thinking of, we had a workshop um, that we just finished where, you know, by the end there was just one kid on because I think that's what 
schools were experiencing too is you know as it went on attendance really decreased but but that one kid was getting so much out of it and it was really um you know meaningful to him and it's like if you can have that perspective of if one kid is getting something out of this then you know who knows what it can do for them and right that's worth it right and what the ripple effects can be there so mm -hmm. yeah um, that's yeah. good to hear yeah so what can people do to support your students and local musicians right now um we are launching our first ever summer camp um and oh, it's cool. going to be online yeah it's going to be uh june 22nd and we're going to do a producer camp which is our usual songwriting music video album artwork workshop and then we're also going to do a, a our first ever performer workshop where um the kids will be working with amber nicole of mojo flow to do uh, you know vocal techniques uh stage performance and um you know a little bit more more focused on the performance aspect and you know the their final thing we'll do a live stream concert where they'll each perform a song oh nice with her so um we are trying to make that available to everyone you know there is like a suggested donation for tuition but we are you know looking for individuals to kind of sponsor kids on a scholarship basis so that anyone can participate so that's one way that i would point out that people could could help our kids to to get to be a part of these workshops um and then as far as um musicians i i know just the greater columbus arts council has done such an awesome job with the emergency relief funds that they've been doing for artists and i know they have kind of a, a rolling call out for for people to to contribute to that um and and i know so many musicians who have who've gotten that and it's been a real godsend for them so um i think you know that is definitely the most streamlined way that i know of to to support them but you know a lot of uh musicians i know have started doing house shows on zoom sessions and yeah. they've just found really cool creative ways on their own to do that so i would just say you know if you see uh any musicians that you know in your community doing that just chip in be a part of it it's it's really fun and you know i've had nights of just like sitting on the couch watching hebdo do a you know live stream session it's awesome it's you know still yeah. really enjoyable and right it's like, like you it's can connect show. more than yeah you can connect more than ever it seems like to yeah, musicians and exactly. art. exactly yeah. yeah it's it's more intimate well awesome well it's been yeah. wonderful chatting with you Great thank you so to you much too. absolutely thanks for having me so much pain in my life, I don't even know how to cope, yeah. Speak to my soul, yeah. Oh, you gotta go, yeah. Can't talk to people my age, they don't sink to the cold, yeah. Just when they mouth, you ain't my sis and you ain't my bro, yeah. Smile on the outside, inside where I cry, yeah. Dark room made long, thought about suicide, yeah. Would my family miss me if I die, yeah. I don't believe them, and I don't even know why. I've been so mad, yeah. I've been so mad, yeah. I've been so mad, I've been so mad, yeah. Brody told me go and get in your bag. Mama told me wish I was never had this. Where to call you weak if you ever sad. But I done seen too many games, so okay. tag. Can I be happy, yeah? Is it that's too much, yeah? And can I be, can I be, can I be happy, yeah? Is it that's too much, yeah? Is it that's too much, yeah? Cause I done had my back up against the wall, yeah, yeah. I've been through it all, yeah. If happiness was a drug, yeah, yeah. I go through a drug, step my pop pills in front of the kids. Upstate and he's serving a bit. Hey, can I be happy? Can I be? 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 Can I be? Can I be happy? 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 Can I be? Can I be? Can I be happy? Life a constant pain, I hurt so much. Yeah, yeah. Question every day, am I enough? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know who I can trust. Rain over my parade, I got it out the mud. Yeah, yeah. Life a constant pain, that hurts so much, yeah, yeah. Question every day, am I enough, yeah, yeah. I don't really know who I can trust. Rain over my parade.